Hello friends, welcome back to Relief Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to find the sum of first n terms. If first term a and common difference d is given. Till now we have learned in the previous exercise how to find the nth term of a progression. But now we will find how to find the sum of first n terms of a progression. See actually this theorem is called Gauss theorem. See here there is one story behind this theorem that we will discuss. See if I say one series if I give you S. S is 1, 2, 3, 4, dash, 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 98. 99 and 100. For example, natural number 1, 200. So, you know that the difference between two consecutive terms here 2 minus 1, 1, 3 minus 2, 1, 4 minus 3, 1. So, we can say it is in AP. Now, we want to find the sum of all these terms. So, what actually happened? You know that many years before, when Gauss, a German mathematician, he was I think just 10 to 11 years old and his teacher in a classroom in order to keep the student busy she gave this problem and told them to find the sum of all these 100 natural numbers. So you want to find the sum of this 100 natural numbers so that what will be the answer we will see here. So now what Gauss did you know that at a very tender age of 10 to 11 years in order to add this he played a trick see here what he did this is one series he given the same series he has written in reverse order see he wrote here 100 plus he wrote here 99 plus 98 plus 97 plus dot 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 dot, 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 dot 3 plus 2 plus 1. Clear? Now he added these two series that is S plus S. So we can say that is 2S. S this is series, this also series is S, S plus S, 2S. Now he added this 1 plus 100, 1, 0. 2 plus 99, 1, 0, 1. 3 plus 98, 1, 0. Clear? 7 plus 4 plus 97, 1, 0, 1. Plus dash, 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 dash. Plus 98 plus 3, 1, 0, 1. 99 plus 2, 1, 0, 1. 100 plus 1, 1, 0, 1. So now you tell me how many these terms are 100 terms. So now these terms are also 100. Means you have to add this 100 times. How many times? 100 times. So you might be knowing that we have done if you know that. Okay. If you want to add this, for example, see if you want to add this 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, 4 times. So, what you used to do? You used to say 5 into 4, that is equals to 20. 5, 5, 5, 4 times. So, you multiply 5 with the number of times. So, here 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. How many times? 100 times. So, what is this? Okay, 2s is equals to 100 times this. So, 100 into 1, 0, 1. Simple. Now 100 into 1, 0, 1. This is 2s. Okay. So 2s. So s equals to we can say 100 upon 2 into 1, 0, 1. This 2 multiplication goes here division. So now this is a theorem. This is called Gauss theorem. Why? See we can say how many terms are there? 100 terms. So we have written 100. If there are 50 terms, we will write here 50. Clear? See this again I can write this way 100 upon 2, 1, 0, 1 I can write 1 plus 100. See here we will get the answer 100 upon 2 into 1, 0, 1, 2, 1s are 50s are. So that is equals to 50 into 1, 0, 1. So 50 into 1, 0, 1 means 5, 0, 5, 0. This is the total. Sum of this 100 natural number is 5, 0, 5, 0. So quite simple. Within fraction of second Gauss was able to give the answer. Teacher was stunned. She was astonished how this fellow has done this problem at a very tender age and that too in a fraction of second. So now see this is the theorem. 
what is that a sum to n terms is equals to here there are 100 terms so we have written 100 if there are n terms we can write n upon 2 here 1 1 is the first term and 100 is the last term 1 plus 100 so a that is the first term and last term we can say that is l so this is the formula Gauss has derived that is sum to n terms is equal to number of term divided by 2 into first term plus last term. So, Sn equal to n by 2 into a plus l. So, this is the sum to clear. So, this formula we use when, when first term and last term both are given. Then we can use the formula Sn equal to n by 2 a plus l. See example I will say. Now you got 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So how many terms are there? Sum to 5 terms. So 5 terms means you can write say total you know 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 5, 15. So this total is 15. So how do you got this total by using this formula? How many terms are there? 5 terms. So we can say S5, S5, Sn, 5 by 2 into A plus L. First term 1, last term 5. So that is equals to 5 by 2 into 5, 1 plus 5, 6. 2 1s are 3s are 5 into 3 that is equals to 15. So, answer is 15. Have you got it? Or in other word also we can say what we answer good 5 into 6 upon 2. So, generally if you want to find the answer very fast, which is the last term 5? Last term is 5. If it is a natural number, last term is 5. Sum of n natural number, sum of 5 natural number, last term is 5. Which will be the natural number after 5? So, that is 6 upon 2. So, 5 into 6 upon 2 is our answer. Have you got it? So, now we got how to find the sum. So, this formula, this is the first formula and we can say it is used when last term is given. So, this has to be used when, when last term is given. So, first we will use when last term is given. Now, Second formula, when last term is not given, when last term is not given. So, what you will do when last term is not given? So, when last term is not given, how to find? So, we don't know what is the last term. For example, this way, see, find some example, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Any sequence, any progression. Why? Because this itself is a arithmetic progression. This itself is in AP. So, any series where last term is not given. See, I will take one more example. See, when last term is not given. Second, when last term is not given. You take any series arithmetic, say now this. 2 plus 5, 5 plus 8, 3 difference, 5 minus 2, 3, 8 minus 5, 3, plus 11, dash, 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 dash. You want to find sum of this series up to nth term. We don't know what is the nth term here. Last term is not given, let it be nth term. Let it be nth term. So, what we have formula, Sn equal to n by 2 a plus l, last term, a plus l. This is the formula we have derived. Sum to n term is equal to n by 2 a plus l. But here last term is not given. Let it be last term be nth term. So, we can say that it be tn. Okay. So, that is equals to Sn equal to n by 2 a plus last term is here nth term. And we have learned in the previous lecture nth term means n by 2 a plus tn. tn means a plus n minus 1 into d. Last term is nth term and nth term is a plus n minus 1 into d. So, what will be the formula here? n by 2 a plus a 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the sum to n terms when last term is not given. Very simple friends, nothing. See, this is formula number 2. So, this we will use when last term is not given. You know the basic formula Sn equal to n by 2 a plus l. Number of term divided by 2 into first term plus last term. Last term is not given. Let it be nth term. Nth term is Tn. And Tn you know a plus n minus 1 into d. So, a plus a 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, this formula we will use when last term is not given. Clear friends? Have you got it?
and you know sum of n natural number see here we will say sum of n natural number now 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 now you know what will be the sum so as said nothing you have to do which is the last term 7 and which term will be after 7 8 upon 2 so 2 ones are the 4s are 7 4s are 28 is the answer you add this see 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 6 21 21 plus 7 28 answer is 28 so last term 7 and term after 7th is 8 divided by 2. Have you got it? In this way if you find 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. So here last term is 10. After 10, 11 by 2. 2 ones are here 5 are. 5 into 11, 55 is the total of all this. See how you will get within a fraction of second. Is it a magic? No. And this was done by Gauss at a very tender age of 10 to 11 years. See. So in this way we know how to find the sum of n terms clear so this formula we will use so two formula we have we will use this formula when last term we know when what is the last term when last term is given we will use this formula and when last term is not given we will use this formula n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d by 2a a plus tn a we have here first term a plus tn tn means a plus n minus 1 into d so a plus a 2a you will get plus n minus 1 into d these two formulas we will use. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the theory. Now we will do our exercise. And our exercise is. Now I think last exercise 5.3. Exercise 5.3. Exercise 5.3 textbook. Question number 1. 1. See what is the question. See here. Find the sum of following AP. First one. You want to find the sum. Okay. 2, 7, 12, 2, 10 terms. How many terms? You have to find sum to 10 terms. Up to 10 terms. Look here. If you look here, see here. 2, 7, 12, up to 10 terms. Sum to 10 terms. So, number of terms are 10. But we don't know which is the last term. So, here last term is not given. So, what you will use here? See, A is equals to T. Difference is equals to T2 minus 2. And that is 7 minus 2 is equals to 5. Now, you have to find SN. So, here last term is not given. So, which formula we will use? SN is equals to N by 2. 2A plus N minus 1 into D. This we use. Why? We don't have last term. If you want to use first formula, this. If you want to use this formula, first formula, this if you want to use, then you require last term. So, first you find the last term. Last term means 10th term you have to find. Okay, now see, now sum to 10 terms. So, n is equals to 10. So, in case of sum, you require three things. That is first term, difference and n, a and d. What you require? a, n and d and you require and. In order to find the term, you require two things only, A and D. Then you can find any term. But here, in order to find sum, you require three things. That is A and D. If you want to find term, you require only add. A, D, add. And if in, required, in order to find sum, you require A and D. Got it? Now, that's 10. So, that is equals to 10 by 2. 2 into first term. First term is 2 plus N minus 1. Sum to 10 terms. N is 10. So, 10 minus 1, 9 directly. If it is 10, you will write 9 here. Why? Because N minus 1. D. Difference is 5. So, 10 by 2, 5. 2 into 2, 4. Plus 9 into 5, 45. So, 5 into 45 plus 4, 49. 9 fives are 45. 5 carry 4. 5 fours are 20 and 4, 245. So, sum to 10 terms is 240. Have you got it friends? Very simple. But if you want to again evaluate this problem, then question arise, sir, if we have last term, that is 10th term, we can use first formula, yes, so first you have to find 10th term, 10th term you have to find, so you know 10th term, so T10 is equals to A plus 9D, so A is how much, 2 plus 9 into difference is how much, 5, so that is 2 plus 9, 5 is 45, so that is equals to 47, so 10th term is now 47. So, now you can use this formula Sn. Sn is equals to n by 2 a plus n. Okay. So, S10. So, S10 is equals to 10 by 2 first term. First term is 2. 
and now 10th term why because you want to find sum up to 10th term you want to find sum up to 10th term and 10th term t10 is equals to 47 so a plus l so that is equals to 47 so 10 by 2 10 by 2 is 5 into 47 plus 2 47 plus 2 49 so 5 into 49 5 into 49 is 245 so in this way also you can do or that is you will find the last term that is last term is 10th term first you will find and you will use first formula this is first formula we have used here see but here directly you can use second formula so just for your evaluation we have discussed this now we'll do this one so question number one you got it same way now see you have second problem minus 37 minus 33 minus 29 to 12 terms to 12 terms you have to this is up to 10 terms now to 12 terms okay so now your first term a is equals to minus 37 difference is equals to t2 minus t1 so t2 is minus 33 minus t1 t1 is minus 37 so that is equals to minus 33 plus 37. So 37 minus 33 that is 4. So difference we got now we want to find sum up to 12 terms. So n is equals to 12. Now you will use formula Sn is equals to n by 2. 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Why this we don't have last term that is 12th term we don't have. So first you have to find otherwise 12th term and after finding 12th term you can use this formula but instead of doing that directly we will use this formula that is used when last term is not given. So now S12, no need of writing this formula directly you can S12 so n by 2 so that is 12 by 2, 2a so 2 into a, a is minus 37 plus n minus 1 so 12 minus 1, 11 difference, difference is 4. That's all. So 12 by 2, 6. Clear? Now 37. 7 2s are 14. Carry 1. 3 2s are 6. 74. Minus 74 plus 44. So that is equals to 6 into 44. 74 minus 30. So that is equal to minus 180. So sum of this series up to 12 term is minus 180. If you add all first 12 term of this series, answer will be minus 180. Have you got it? Now see, third one. 0 0.6, 1.7, 2.8, dash, 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 200 terms. You want to find total 200 terms. So this is in AP. Already it is mentioned that it is in AP. Now here you have to check whether last term is given. No, last term is not given. You have to find sum of this series up to 100 terms. So we will use formula number 2. So A is equals to 0 0.6. Difference is equals to 1.7 minus 0 0.6. So that is equals to 1.1. We got difference. Now N is equals to how much? 100 terms. So we have A, we have N, we have D and now we will find sum to 100 terms. So directly we can use formula sum to 100 term S100 is equals to 100 by 2 n by 2 2a 2 into 0 0.6 2a plus n minus 1 100 minus 1 99 d d is 1.1 that's all directly we use the formula. Now 100 by 2 that is 50. Now 2 into 0 0.6 1.2 plus 99 into 1.1. So, you have to do the calculation if you know that 99 into 1 point means 99 into 11. 90, 1 into 9, 9, here 9, 9, 9. So, you get 9, 9, 9, 18, carry 1, 1, 0, 8, 9. But, you know that after one, after one digit there is a decimal. So, you will put 108.9. So, point nine. 99 into 1 point 1, we have multiply. So, now, 50 into, now you will add this, 9 plus 2, 11, 1, carry 1, 8, 9, 10, 10, 0, carry 1, so you will get here, see here this way, 108.9 plus 1.2, 9 plus 2, 11, carry 1, 8, 9, 10, 0, 
कैरी वन 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 जीरो आंसर इज वन वन जीरो पॉइंट वन Now you know fifty multiply by this one one zero point one six fifty means five into ten. I can write five into ten into one one zero point one. Now for ten into this means this decimal will move here. So I can write now five into the zero will go on. See five into ten. Ten into this. So this decimal will move here. So we'll get one one zero one. Clear. So now five zero five five. This is our answer. Have you got it, friends? Very simple, just multiplication. So I hope you understood this. Now, fourth one. One by fifteen. One by twelve. One by ten. Dot dot dot. You have to find total to eleven terms. Sum of this up to eleven terms. So we don't know which is the eleventh term. So last term is not given, so we will use formula number two. So here a is equals to one point fifteen. Difference is equal to t two minus t one. T two minus t one. So here now you will take LCM of twelve and fifteen. So you know how to take LCM of twelve and fifteen LCM. So you will do three. Three how many times four is three? Four is twelve. Three five. Now four one and five. Now five. So three four is. Five four zero twenty twenty into three sixty. So LCM is here sixty. Clear. Twelve five zero. So I will write five. Fifteen four zero. So that is four. So that is equals to one upon sixty is the difference. Now n. You have to find sum of this term up to eleven terms. So n equal to eleven. Now you know the formula. S n equal to n by two. Then two a plus n minus one into difference. So here s eleven is equals to eleven by two. Now two into a a is one by fifteen plus n minus one. That is eleven minus one. So that is ten into difference. Difference is one by sixty. Got it, friends? So now eleven by two. Now two into one by fifteen. Two into one two. So two by fifteen plus now ten. So you can cancel this. So you will get one by six. Clear. So that is equals to eleven by two. Now you want to find LCM of fifteen and six. Clear. Fifteen and six. So three times five is two. Now three five is fifteen. Fifteen two is thirty. So LCM is here thirty. Fifteen two is two into two four is six five is five into one five. So eleven by two into Five plus four nine by thirty. Three three zar three ten zar. So what you will get? Eleven into three. Eleven into three thirty three upon two into ten twenty. So answer is thirty three upon twenty. That is sum of first eleven term of this series is thirty three upon twenty. Got it, friends? So in this way we can find sum if we don't have the last term. Clear? So we have done first problem of exercise five point three. Now exercise five point three textbook only now question number two one. So find the sum of G one below first one seven plus ten and a half plus fourteen plus dash 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 plus. Eighty-four. Now you want to find the sum. See here. Look at the series. It is already in AP. We don't want to check it. It is already in AP, and you want to find the sum of this series. Okay, friends. Now see. This is first term. This is second term. This is third term. Do you know which term it is? No, we don't know. So we don't know which term it is. Let it be nth term. Okay. Okay. So let it be n term. So you can say, sir, here first term is given, here last term is given. Both are given. Okay, both terms are given. So what we will do? Okay, we will use the formula, sir. First formula. That is, first formula means this formula. Okay, S n equal to n by two a plus n. This formula we will use. Okay, friends. See, 
So we'll use this formula Sn equal to n by 2 a plus n. So what we required here, we required first term. So we have first term. We required last term. Okay, we have last term. We require n. Do you have n? We don't have n here. Okay, this is first term, this is second term, this is third term. This we don't know which term it is. So we don't have n. So I told you in order to find Sn, you require three things: a, n, and d. So we have a. We have common difference d also, but we don't have n. So it is necessary first you have to find n. In the previous problem, you might be knowing that we have done four problems. In all those problems, n was given. See here. You want to find sum up to 10 terms. So n is 10. Sum of this up to 12 terms. So n is 12. Sum of this up to 100 terms. So n is 100. Sum up to 11 terms. So n is 11. So here n was given. But here n is not given. Last term is given, but n is not given. So what is necessary? It is necessary that first we have to find n. Okay, see how we will do this. We have learned in previous case, a is equal to 7. Now difference is equal to 10 and a half. 10 and a half minus 7. 10 and a half means 10.5. Or you can say, see, 10 and a half means 10.5 minus 7. You will get 3.5. Answer is 3 and a half. What you will get? 3 and a half. Clear difference. 10 and a half minus 7, 3 and a half. 3 and a half means 3 into 2, 6. 6 plus 1, 7 by 2 answer is. Have you got it? So difference is 7 by 2. Now we won't find n. We don't have n. We don't have n. Okay, this is first term, this is second term, this is third term. This you don't know, so let it be nth term. Do you remember in previous exercise 5.2 we have done? So we can say let Tn is equals to a t4. Now we are finding it is nth term. So nth term is 84. You know how do you find Tn? So a plus n minus 1 into d is equals to 84. And I told you in order to find nth term you required only two things. a and d. Both we have. So a, a is 7 plus n minus 1 difference. Difference is 7 and a half. 7 by 2 is equals to 84. So now n minus 1 into 7 by 2 is equals to 84 minus 7. Clear. So n minus 1 into 7 by 2 is equals to 84 minus 7. So what will be the answer? 77. Now n minus 1 is equals to 77 into this 7 by 2 when it goes on other side reciprocal. <coughs> reciprocal of 7 by 2 is 2 by 7. So 7 ones are this 11 ones are 11 into 2. So n minus 1 is equal to 11 into 2 22. So n is equals to minus 1 goes here plus 1. So n equal to 23. So in short we can say this is the 23rd term. 84, this is 7 is first term, 10 and a half is second term, 14 is third term, 84 is 23rd term. Now we got n. Now we want sum. So we will use the first formula. Simple. So what is the first formula? You know what is the first formula? First formula Sn is equals to n by 2 a plus l, last term. Now n is how much? 23. So we can say S23 is equals to 23 by 2 into first term. First term is 7. Plus last term, last term is 84. So 23 by 2 into 84 plus 7. 84 plus 6, 90. 90 plus 1, 91. Clear? So 23 upon 2 into 91. So what we will do here? We will multiply and divide by 2. Clear? So we will multiply here. See 91 into 23. 1, 3 is 3, 9, 3 is 27, 1, 2 is 2, 9, 2 is 18, clear, so 3, 7, 2, 9, 8, 2, 10, carry 1, 2, 0, 9, 3, so 23 into 91 is 2, 0, 9, 3 upon 2, now you will divide this 2, 0, 9, 3, so 2, 0, 9, 3 divided by 2, clear, see 2, 0, 9, 3 divided by 2, 2 ones are 1 time, 0, 9, how many times? 9, 4 times, 13, 13, how many times? 6 times, 12.5, 1046.5. So, answer is 1046.5 is the sum of first 20, third 20, sorry, this, this total series. See, look at the problem and you compare with the 
previous problem here a was given d was given and n was given so directly we have used second formula okay see here in the previous case what was the thing a was given d was given and n was given n equal to 10 so directly we have used second formula and we have find the sum but here you see sequence is given n is not given so first we will find n then we will use first formula clear now see same thing we will discuss one more problem See second one. 34 plus 32 plus 30 plus dash 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 plus 10. Look here. Same thing here. What is first term? A equal to 34. Difference is equal to T2 minus T1. So that is equal to minus 2. This is first term. This is second term. This is third term. We don't know which term it is. So let it be this B and the term. So we can say let Tn is equal to 10. So, Tn equal to 10 means A plus N minus 1 into D is equal to 10. A is here 34 plus N minus 1. Difference is here minus 2 is equal to 10. So, 34 goes here. So, N minus 1 into minus 2 is equal to 10 minus 34. Clear? So, N minus 1 into minus 2 is equal to 10 minus 34 minus 24. So, N minus 1 is equal to minus 24 upon. This minus 2 is in here multiplication. When it goes in? Division minus 2. So n minus 1 is equal to minus 2 minus 24 minus minus cancel. So 2 value you get. So n minus 1 equal to 12. So n is equal to 30. So this 10 is 13th term. Now you have first term, you have last term. Then you will use the formula which Sn equal to n by 2 a plus l last term. Clear. So now what you have to find n is 13. So s 13 equal to 13 by 2. First term A, A is 34 plus last term, last term is 10. So 13 by 2 into 34 plus 10, 44. So 2 ones are 22s are here. So that is equals to 13 into 22. Clear? So 13 into 22, so that is 26, 26. 6, A, 286. 286 is our answer. So, sum of this series, total series is 286. See, moral of the story is nothing. What you require in order to find sum of n terms. You require A, you require N, you require D. In short, A and D and you require and. Clear? Now, we will do last problem. See, here it is. Third one. Minus 5 plus minus 8 plus minus 11 plus dash 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 plus minus 230. See, look at the 6. You want to find the sum. So, what you require A and D. You have A. A is equal to minus 5. Then you require difference. T2 minus T1. So, minus 8 minus of minus 5. So, that is equal to minus 8 plus 5. So, that is equal to minus 3. You got difference. So, you have A, you have D, you don't have N. So, you want to find N. Okay, this is first term, this is second term, this is third term, this is, we don't know. So, let it be Nth term. So, what you will do? Let Tn is equals to minus 230. Clear? Tn A plus N minus 1 into D is equals to minus 230. A is minus 5 plus n minus 1, we don't know n, we want to find out n, n, d, difference is minus 3 is equals to minus 30. Now see, in this equation, only one thing is unknown, that is n, and you want to find n. So now this minus 5 goes here. So n minus 1 into minus 3 is equals to minus 230 plus 5. Minus 5 goes there plus 5. Now, n minus 1 into minus 3 is equal to minus 230 plus 5. So, minus 225. Okay, now this minus 3 is in multiplication. So, n minus 1 is equal to minus 225. Minus 3 is in multiplication. When it goes on the other side, division, that is minus 3. Minus minus cancel. So, n minus 1 is equal to. 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 2, 9. So, total is divisible by 3. So, number also will be divisible by 3. Minus, minus, cancel. 7 times, 7, 3 is 21, 15, 5. Now, n is equals to 
75 minus 1 goes there plus 1 75 plus 1 so n is equals to 76 so this minus 230 is the 76th term now you have first term you have last term so you use the formula sn equal to n by 2 a plus l plus clear friends now n how much you got 76 so s 76 means there are 76 terms so sum to 76 term is equal to 76 by 2 first term first term is minus 5 plus last term last term is minus 230 that's all so 76 by 2 3 38 now minus 5 minus 230 plus into minus minus 38 into minus 235 so you want this total so you will multiply here 235 into 38 8 5 are 40 carry 4 8 3 is 24 28 carry 2 8 2 is 16 17 18 5 15 carry 1 3 is 9 10 carry 1 3 is 7 0 8 plus 5 13 carry 1 9 9 here 8 so answer is minus 8930 why because plus into minus minus so sum of 676 term is 8930 so we have done here two type of problem when n is given okay when n is given and you want to find the sum when last term is not given you will use the second formula and when last term is given and n is given you will use this formula okay I hope you understood the lecture very well. So please just you try to understand what Gauss did at a very tender age of 11 years. Try to understand that how tactfully that fellow has solved sum of first 100 terms. Okay. So please evaluate that. Okay. Try to understand the theory and do this problem by your own. Thank you very much.